Hello and welcome to this episode of Follow Mistress Nurture. I am your host and I am your guide. As you explore this incredible lifestyle and power exchange dynamic that we call cuckolding. And this channel is dedicated to exploring all things cuckold. And today we're going to be talking about the three most common fears that women have when they are first approached about cuckolding and begin to imagine the possibility. The first fear is that somehow this is going to be a two-way street and what you're proposing includes you being with other women and she's just not cool with it, right? Uh, the second fear is about damaging the relationship. And third is really about damaging you, the cuckold, somehow making you feel less of a man. So before I go into that in depth, would you please, for me, do the favor of liking and notifying, sharing and commenting, so that the next cuck who is sitting after midnight googling cuckolding can find me <laughs> and maybe find a, a home here. Okay, thank you. The first and most common fear is that this proposal is somehow a two-way street. That is a very common fear that women have when they're first approached. The second fear is the fear of seeing you differently once you become a cuckold. And the third fear, the third fear is that you will begin to see her differently. Now, if any of you show this to your wives, I would just tell them that this is absolutely not a two-way street. This is a cake and eat it to proposal and worth exploring, especially if you like to be treated like a queen and maybe be partners with your very best friend while being able to fuck other men. It's pretty win-win-win. <laughs> the second fear is that the relationship will be damaged because the way she sees you changes. And to this fear, I say two different things. The first one is that this cuckolding requires very conscious relating. So there needs to be a real emphasis and focus on communication, honesty, um, negotiation, and, and compassion. So if those things do not exist in your relationship right now, they're not going to magically appear when you become, when you start cuckolding. So, um, the truth is, is that relationships change. They all do. Staying the same, right? Like you change, your partner changes, we grow, we learn, we evolve, right? So, Relationships change. It is the fear that it'll change into something that you don't like anymore, right? That's what that fear is. So what I say is if you are set with the tools for conscious relating, for being able to navigate the emotional waters of cuckolding 
And instead of experiencing it as conflict, being able to experience it as a curiosity and a chance to get to know your partner better, to know them more intimately. So those are really the habits that we have when we are practicing conscious relating. And in my work with cuckolding couples, what I have observed time and time again is that because there is more consciousness, awareness, communication about your relationship, you actually get closer and closer over time. Now, does it mean that you're going to have the same relationship that you did before? Probably not. Things will change in some way. But with a partner in this, you are collaborating and creating what works for you. And so know that there's no one way to be doing cuckolding and you are absolutely allowed to create what works for you. And deeper into the fear of affecting the relationship, there's a fear of making their partner, their cuckold, feel inadequate, feel like less than a man. And for a lot of cuckolds, there's already a predisposition to feeling like less than a man. And it is a big change since oftentimes partners will be tiptoeing around the issue of the fact that they are really just sexually underwhelmed. So one of the things that I do with the cuckolds that I work with, they are on their journey of radical self-acceptance and becoming what I call a high-value cuck, which is essentially a cuckold who understands the contribution that he brings to the table, which enables him to really stand for what he wants to experience in the dynamic, instead of kind of accepting what you can get, instead of working to create what you truly want. So when you're high value, you are confident in who you are, knowing what your strengths are, knowing what your deficiencies are, and knowing what it is that you have to contribute to the dynamic that will be most fulfilling and joyful for you. And if you want help with that, you can find how to contact me down below in the description and we can set up a session. And finally, the fear that you will look at her differently. And again, my response to that fear is that, of course, it's going to change. But that's not a bad thing. It's an amazing transformation that you are on the precipice of. The way that your man looks at you is going to change as you embrace and embody the, the potency of your sexual being. He will look at you differently because becoming a sexually empowered woman who is fully fulfilled, ha, huh, that is a beauty to behold and it will transform 
the way that he looks at you, and it is not a bad thing. So with that, I will leave you, my darlings, and I hope that you found this video to be a contribution to your world. Making it was a contribution to mine, and I'll see you next time on the channel. Bye for now. Mwah.